Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to the transformative world of daily dose of God's word with Pastor Cherry Sean. Get ready to embark on a journey where the power of God's word meets your life challenges. In this podcast, Pastor Cherry will delve into a profound teaching of faith, motivation, and practical application of biblical wisdom. Be inspired as you listen. Hello, praise the Lord, each and every single person who is listening to this podcast this morning. I welcome you to Daily Dose of God's Word. I welcome you to this beautiful day. As you start this day, I encourage you to really rely on the presence that the Lord enables you to experience, to live and to take it forward each and every place that you go. This morning, I would like to take you to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 16. It says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. You know, from the scripture that you need to understand, when Jesus is making this statement, he is not telling that, you know, this person will replace me. This Holy Spirit that I am sending will be an additional support and a bonus to you. You know, I would want you to understand the transition that happened with the children of Israelites closely. They are in this wilderness and after the season of wilderness, they are moving into that promised land. You know, this shift from deliverance to dominion wasn't easy for the children of Israel because Moses who had brought them deliverance was dead. The manna that had sustained them in the wilderness stopped. You know, for deliverance, yes, of course, we really need Moseses in our lives. And that Moses could be your pastor, your spiritual mentor, a leader in your life. But to exercise our dominion, you need the Holy Spirit. You know, you have to rely on the Holy Spirit. You cannot allow the absence of Moses to shake your faith. You cannot allow the absence of your pastors or your leaders or your spiritual fathers or your mothers to shake your faith. I would want you to understand the removal of Moses, the removal of leaders in your life is a sign that God is developing you to become his warrior. You know, as I say this, I don't want you to misunderstand me. I'm actually telling you that you should understand, you know, when God takes out a leader out of your life, when God takes out a prominent person who helped you receive freedom, who helped you to get delivered from certain things. You know, if the Lord removes that person in your life, you should understand that he is replacing somebody else in your life and he wants you to do something with that person. I am not actually encouraging you to get disconnected from your pastor as I speak to you. But you know, there are certain situations in our lives at some point of time you know you we will lose the men of god that we have over our lives you know god intentionally removes them it is not we voluntarily deciding on getting disconnected from them you know i encourage you not to get disconnected from your pastors from your mentors or from your leaders or from your fathers or your mothers but you should understand there would be seasons in life where the moseses in our life will be taken away the lord intentionally removes them because the removal of moses is a sign that god is developing us to become his warrior. In fact, you can't walk in victory if you always rely on your pastor or your leader who helped you to get free. You know, deliverance occurred only because someone else carried the anointing. But now you can't walk successfully in dominion through your promised land by borrowing someone else's relationship with God. You have to put the Ark of Covenant on your own shoulders. You know, you need to develop your own time of prayer and fasting. You need to get into your secret place and discover the intimacy that you have with the Holy Spirit. You know, no one can get into the promised land riding on the anointing of Moses in their lives. 
you can get out of Egypt like that but living in your own promised land or the destiny that God has given you it will not happen that way relying on men of God enable you to get out of Egypt that will not work in the next season of your life you know a healthy dominion mentality requires you to rely not on a man but on the holy spirit you know when jesus was on the earth god's anointing rested on him then he promised that the holy spirit would rest upon his body that is the church that is you and me which entered its promised land when the holy spirit descended on all the 120 disciples who were present in the upper room not just on the apostles not just on the prophets but on every disciple of jesus do you know that you are a disciple of jesus this morning you know god might have not called you in serving him full time in our church but i would want you to understand wherever the lord has placed you god wants you to shine god wants the relationship that you have with the lord in the secret place he wants that fruit to be produced. He wants that fruit to be seen by others. Without a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, there is no dominion. You know, the Holy Spirit is the ark of the covenant and it's time to carry him wherever you go. You must realize that the Holy Spirit wants to have a relationship with you. So talk to him today. Walk with him today and obey his voice today. If life in bondage was a result of being full of demons, then the life of dominion is the result of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Just imagine what kind of an outcome would you carry when you walk with the Holy Spirit, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, when you have an intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Fighting back is different than receiving freedom, my friends. In freedom, someone else helps us to get free. You know, it could be a pastor, it could be a man of God that God might use. But in fighting, you should understand, you must develop your own personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. The question is, are you developing that relationship with the Holy Spirit in your life? No, if you haven't, it's time to talk to him. It's time to live the life that God expects us to live. I would want you to take time this morning and pray. Ask the Lord. Connect back to the Lord. Connect back to the Holy Spirit because God wants you to be a fighter. God wants you to live a life filled with dominion. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. Shalom. As we conclude another empowering episode of Daily Dose of God's Word with Pastor Cherry Sean, remember that your journey towards a transformed life has just begun. To know more about us, check out our social media handles. Thank you.